Hey folks, it's Patriot Nurse. Thank you for joining me today. In this video, I am sounding the alarm and I am pleading with people to wake up to the deception that is in front of them. Over the past week, I have seen and witnessed and been singularly disturbed in my spirit over the level of lie that is being swallowed and that is being disseminated hook, line, and sinker related to the issues that happened on the border with Gaza and Israel. And in particular, I wish to plead with you to be discerning and to pray and seek the Lord's truth in the midst of a massive deception. I am appalled at the level of Jew hatred and overt anti-Semitism that I have seen surface this week in the preparedness and homesteading and supposedly Bible-believing communities. Let me plead with you. If you are justifying or excusing or supporting Hamas or the Gazan cesspool that feeds it in any way, let me plead with you to reconsider that position from a biblical perspective, considering the consequences that the Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob ascribed to people who bless the enemies of his people, Israel. Yes, beheaded babies are real. It is not a psyop. My family witnessed it firsthand in the recovery efforts in Kafar Aza. Not from a news article, not from a 30 second TikTok, my family. Yes, Palestinians, unfortunately, are massively in support of massacring Jews. And normal Palestinians do this and butcher Jews all the time. As a matter of fact, earlier this year, my friend and former Marine, Dave Stern, was nearly murdered in the village of Hawara. And his sole crime was slowing and yielding to a pedestrian who then turned around and tried to murder him and his wife because they were Jewish. The, the 1,400 Israelis who were murdered in the border towns and 29 Americans as it stands right now that I'm aware of, their deaths were not a psyop. Only an abject and self-deluded fool who dismisses the brutality of a jihadist element could spout such nonsense. Opening a de facto two-front war without expectation of ordinance resupply from a hostile Biden administration, that is not a recipe for a Zionist global conspiracy's takeover. That is not a recipe for success. Friends, the world is much more complex than perfect intelligence and false flags. But because of the interconnectedness of our world and the masterful manipulation of social media, many people have simply defaulted to claiming conspiracy because the murkiness of these situations is too much and people need a quick and cathartic response. As such, channels who have previously, this breaks my heart to say it, who have previously stood for scriptural truth have been led astray into cursing the people and the land of Israel and spreading the poison of recycled anti-Semitism based on the contorted rendering of New Testament passages, forgetting that these same passages have been used for centuries to foment pogroms against the Jewish people. It is a fearful thing to invoke the wrath of God. And if we corporately or individually participate in such corruption of justice, unjust weights and measures, and maligning of the Jewish people, we are sealing and accelerating our own destruction in the United States of America. Now, there are many questions as to how all of this happened. We may not know what the truth is. It's not a sin for a person to say that he's not sure what to believe and he's not 100% convinced that things were as they were told. It is not a sin to admit you aren't sure what to believe or what the role of the United States foreign policy should be in this. But I have looked this week and to the eyes of people who got the worst news of their lives, that their family members were among the butchered and slain. 
I didn't read this in an article. I didn't watch it on TikTok. I looked into their eyes in real life. It is real. It is not fake. It is not a psyop. Their grief is not acting. Evil, abject evil exists in this world, but unfortunately it is being facilitated and excused. And I have watched people who should be leaders in social media this week, feed their followers the toxic poison of complacency and victim blaming. The same toxicity that has brought empires down to their knees and ultimately to their destruction throughout history. I plead with you. If we love the God of the Bible, we cannot curse the people of Israel or the land of Israel without ensuring our own demise, nor can we bless the enemies of Israel who attack them. So what is a person to believe? What is a person to, to hold by? How is he to make reasonable conclusions in a world where so much information is constantly suspect and he doesn't know what to believe? Let him who lacks wisdom ask of God who giveth to all men generously without reproach. Ask our Heavenly Father to show you His truth. His truth. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. People deceived and lost to the dustbin of history will serve their gods of falsehood and of conspiracy. Conspiracy. But the servants of the Most High will serve the God who keeps Israel. We'll see whose fire comes down. For now, it's Patriot Nurse signing off, and I'll see y'all later.